Good morning, good afternoon. I'm here in Ibiza town today and I'm going to show you Dove Villa. A lot of people have asked me to do this, so why not? As you can see, it's uh, very quiet. This street is obviously the famous street in Ibiza town, which you wouldn't be able to move here in a normal summer night. Absolutely rampant. Thousands of people out all enjoying their time here and having a drink at each individual bar. Whew. Hope you've enjoyed that little journey up there um, it does seem like a short distance in 16 seconds but I'm out of breath um, so yeah I'm gonna be going up here which is more the old town and Dal Vela and as I walk around the town I'll, uh, I'll do some more um, historic things as I know it I'm no expert I always say that um, but yeah let's just look at the view here um, incredible Yeah, I do apologise if it is a little windy. We are up high. Um, I do have the settings on to try and cancel out the wind, but um, it is a bit gusty today, despite the beautiful weather. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. Thanks for 7,000 subscribers. Couldn't have imagined this. But yeah, we're here. So yeah, what a weather we're having, really. Like, I'm, I'm wearing a hoodie, but there's absolutely no need for it. Um, so yeah, this is where you would uh, have the IMS, which is the International Music Summit. And uh, across the weekend of, uh, usually around the 25th of May, um, there's a massive event on here. And that usually, you know, entails from Sven Bath to like uh, Annie Mack, Pete Tong, all the sort of big DJs, they have this big show. So the, the setting would be down there where the cannons are. They'd have a huge stage and there'd be about, I'm going to say about 5,000 people all in this area. And where I'm standing now, this would be the, the bar area. And uh, yeah, it's such a good day um, whenever, well, such a good three days. But uh, unfortunately, obviously due to COVID, that didn't happen last year. And uh, the likelihood of it happening this year, um, well, we don't really know yet, do we? So yeah, I hope you've been enjoying these vlogs. I am going to try and make them a lot more interesting, as I've always said. Um, I'm limited to what I do, as you can see, I'm on my own. I'm not really allowed to be around people, um, but that's the way it is uh, for the next two weeks anyway. So yeah, obviously with my vlogs um, this year, they've been very different. Normally uh, I would be more inside the nightclubs and you know enjoying the party scene. Um, but the COVID thing really has just allowed me to show Ibiza for what it is. It's a beautiful island and it has so much history and so much things going on. Um, here we're at the, the famous cannons where everybody gets a little Instagram picture. Um, I'm looking down onto some, uh, there's a couple of rooftop bars down there that I would go to normally in the summer. Obviously they're closed at the moment. Um, but yeah, you can just see how beautiful this place is. Incredible, isn't it? So yeah, we're just here on the harbour of the main um, sort of Ibiza town area. And then over here, you've got like Leo, further back is Pasha. And then um, further on over there is Talamanca on towards um, Destina. There is a lot of building work. You can't really see it on this camera. But there's a lot of building work going on all over the island. Um, and then straight here is where the steps where I was above the Ibiza football club in about three vlogs ago. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of villas being built up there at the moment. Uh, a lot of construction going on in Ibiza, so that's slightly positive as to, you know, what's, what's going to happen. Somebody's positive about things happening and things changing in the next couple of years. So yeah, I'll, I'll walk my way back down now and then I'll head up to Dogtown.
So yeah, I'm just making my way down to go up, essentially. Um, but down here you have like some incredible restaurants uh, throughout the summer. Uh, I have known to be wow on a few dates uh, over the years down there. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame because nothing's obviously opened. So I can't really show any places. As you can see, I'm not going to bump into anyone. I feel like I have the island to myself. So this is the restaurant I like. And I can't for the life of me remember the name, nor does it have the name on it. But if anyone's watching this and you know this restaurant, do reply in the comments. There isn't actually a name on it. I just know I've been here a few times. Anyway, also if anybody gives me shit for not wearing a mask, I've got my mask, but there's nobody here. So once I'm in a, around people, I'll put the mask back on, but don't be giving me shit on my clogs. See, there's not many businesses open, but the famous uh, croissant show is open. Obviously, I'm not allowed inside, but I can still order a coffee and croissant, which is nice to know. Um, so I'm just going to order one now. Um, yeah. So how has the season been? It's been very different. Like, <laughs> all the terrace is uh, empty. <laughs> yeah. You've, how many years have you been here? 30 years. 30 years. 30 years ago, yeah. yeah. So this is it. When the summer's back to normal, was, was, come and visit this place. Was just, a little, just one door. Yeah. <laughs> just one door and uh, for the bar there, famous bar for the, yeah. all the farmers and uh, People were coming here early in the morning with the, where the market was already uh, the centre town of all kind of business. Yeah. Here was the name everybody knows that is this tree, La Calle de la Farmacias, you know, six pharmacias, six, uh, uh, but now it's so quiet. No? Yeah. Two person, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andrea. Uh, can I pay for that? Yeah. For sure. So yeah, like this place is super famous for like coffee and croissants and everything else. And you can see it's just perfectly located next to Del Villa. Um, but it is what it is. I'm from Ireland. Yeah. So yeah, I've got my uh, croissant from Croissant Show, my coffee. Uh, unfortunately, I can't sit inside, um, but it's good to know that something's opened. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend uh, paying it a visit. I'm here outside the old market. Obviously, it's, it's not an old market because it's still used, but it's closed because of COVID. But normally, you'd have all your fruits and veg and everything here. And yeah, so I hope this has been an interesting vlog. I'm just going to roam around and uh, see who I can bump into. And I hope another enjoy. walk before I go back up to the top of Dal Villa. Well, that's the first time I've met Andre. What a nice guy. Coffee's amazing as well. <clears throat> I've just noticed that shops are still open. Um, I thought everything was closed, but it's clearly not. Even the lottery shop over there is open. That's the best coffee I've tasted. I don't know what, it's strange. It's just good coffee, I think I'm used to drinking shit coffee. So that's me gonna go back up to the top of Dal Villa. As you can see, it looks amazing. For something that was built uh, back in the 16th century, still standing, unreal. So uh, I'll take a walk inside now, because this is my favorite way to the entrance. Apologize if I'm losing my breath, but here we go. We're gonna go inside now Crazy to think something was built like this back in the 16th century and still used today I wonder where that goes in 2002, they found a room somewhere within these buildings that connected one side of uh, Dal Villa to the other. 
Um, they say that would have been like that was behind loads of Venetian sort of pots and pans, not pans. But anyway, here we are here. You'll have recognised this picture because it's very famous um, on Instagram throughout the summer. And um, that's where everyone kind of sits with all the cushions and. Whew, I'm out of breath. So we're back on this side now. That wasn't a hard walk. I'm just really unfit. There we are. So yeah, that looks down to Place de Parque. There really isn't anything else opened, obviously, with what's going on. Yeah, there's tons of little museums and uh, churches and chapels and stuff within the whole um, the whole part of the old town. So it's worth um, exploring in the summer. I will. I'm as lost as you are. As you can see, many people live up here. It's mostly all houses. I've no idea where I'm going. I took the wrong turn. Some cool artwork here. Oh, I know where we are. I think we're on Cali de Virgin now. Way off. So we're going to go on a bit of a steeper walk. So yeah, this will bring you right to the very highest point. The highest point is obviously a chapel and uh, it's at the very top. So we're going to go up there now. There's loads of little places here on the way in as well that you can discover. There we go. So yeah, I will do a bit more in-depth um, history on the whole of Dol Villa, but I'd rather get um, some solid information from somebody from Ibiza, maybe help them out with if they do tours or something, instead of me just trying to explain. The higher we get up, obviously the higher you can start to see a beta. So we are pretty high at the minute. We're going up there. So we're looking out to figure out this. But I don't know what it is about this point, like it always it always reminds me of Athens. I think it's just that sloping valleys of tons of places if you've been to Athens you'll understand what I mean but uh, yeah we're gonna get up now to the summit and then I'll show you some little tunnels and stuff that's uh, located all around the place so it's just a quick vlog quick run through Dol Villa today I don't have much time but I hope you're enjoying it So yeah, we are at more cannons. Obviously this was built back in the 1600s to protect people from all the pirates and stuff that used to come into the island. So that's why you have all these little watchtowers and cannons located everywhere. Um, and I think that was order under Muslim rule. But I would have to double check that before. That's why I don't want to get too much into detail of uh, the whole history because I'll probably get it all wrong 
I'm an honest vlogger. I'm not here to fool anyone. Could have read a history book and come up here and pretend that I was the know-it-all of Ibiza, but I'll get somebody else. I'd rather post the business to maybe a tour operator or a tour um, guide so somebody can actually give actual facts because I'll just start making up things. So yeah, I thought we were at the top, but we'd go again. If anyone's thinking of doing hill sprints for fitness in Ibiza, come here. Because I am knackered and I haven't once sprinted. Whew. But you can start sort of see the scale of how high we're up now. You can see all the way past DC10 and Salinas, out in the distance. And further up to this road, you can actually see Privilege Amnesia. So yeah, that shows you how high we are up. You won't be able to see it, but I can see it. So the last time I was up here, I was told all of this was going to be a hotel. And that would be an amazing hotel. So it'll be interesting to see um, what's going on with that. So we're going to go up to the next little watch point. Oy. So you can see it's a bit of a building site because they are building here. Did get a bit cloudy today. So uh, there's not really anything I can do with that, so tough luck, I was about to apologise. Now we'll walk down through all the little tunnels and back down onto the street. So like I said, it's just a walk through, sort of familiarise yourself with it, and then I'll come back and do a, a proper vlog. So I'm walking all the way down now. I love the red brick here on this building. Isn't it incredible? So if that is going to be a hotel, it will be pretty special. Oh, nearly fell. So now we're going back down the tunnel. Do you ever get the feeling that you're the only person on the island? That's what I feel like. I don't think I've seen anybody since um, Andrea earlier, at, um, the cross on show. So obviously these are wee areas you're not allowed into. I'd imagine on school trips and tours you can actually go in. So you can sort of get the medieval feel for this, but look how cool is this. Just hope there's nobody else to meet me. Nope, we're good. And now we're just getting to the bottom. Bam! God, it really is quiet. I don't think I've seen one person. I honestly don't think I've seen one person since I've been up here. So, uh, very lucky to have it this way. So I'll probably do a little walk through uh, the end, the rest of it and um, we speed that up for you because I'm sure you're probably sick of talking. You can actually walk down to the, the little cliff edge down there to uh, do a bit of fishing or whatever, but we're not going to go down there today because I don't fancy coming back up, but the silence is just deafening at the minute. Think of it, I'm in the middle of a beef of town. I know we're in the middle of a pandemic, but there's just nobody here. Insane. So, so lucky. And the weather's good. So we're going to go down here. More tunnels. Imagine I got mugged. Okay, so that was a 
not the most informative video of uh, Davia, but um, I promise I will come back and I, um, I want to bring somebody that can give you all the facts, the whole story, because it's such a fascinating story. I think it'd be a shame for me to try and tell it. Um, and I mean, it's not hard to read up on, but like you know, I just spontaneously done this vlog today because somebody messaged me yesterday night, just said that they missed old fella. Can you just go up to old fella? Thought, what? Why not? Beautiful day today. So uh, I came into Ibiza town, as you can see, on my own. And I've run around Dal Villa for you, and I hope you enjoyed that vlog. And yeah, stay tuned, and I will continue to bang out some content. I'm going to start to plan it again, guys, and get a wee bit more informative, so that uh, it's better. Oosh. So, if you've got this far in the vlog, um, thanks very much, but I was thinking of ways to end the vlog and I thought what better way to come to Cafe Mambo, Cafe Del Mar, one of the only ones here, I'm going to take in the sunset, but what I want you to do to say thank you for hitting 7,000 subscribers, I want you to pause this video now and go and grab yourself a drink. I'm on the cruise campo and yeah pause the video go grab yourself a drink come back and uh, we'll watch the sunset together for the first time in 2021 and hopefully that means that you'll get to watch it too someday soon and uh, yeah I'll end the vlog on today's sunset so I'm gonna crack open a few beers and enjoy it whilst I'm on my own here so uh, thanks for watching as always <laughs>